Hello, everybody. This morning I was listening to Steve and considering his life and my life have now been intertwined since 2008. He has been critical to the creation of a number of our companies because he has been the ecosystem through which we have financed so much. I commend Wholesale Investor to you because I've got $15.5 million out of the ecosystem that we're talking about today. Radium Capital has financed our R&D forward. This is a critical infrastructure. It's a critical ecosystem. And yet, Australia still lags. Whoops. Kicking my foot on one of those big old black pipes. You'll hear more about that as we go through. A critical ecosystem because Australia is way behind the rest of the world in this space. And Wholesale Investor is the critical platform that's going to enable us to catch up. And boy, oh boy, do we need to do that. And in fact, kicking the pipe was actually what I was doing with Steve when it came to going to Singapore. I said, we need international finance. We need an international focus on the top technologies in the world which are actually coming out of Australia in so many areas. Please, please, Singapore, please. Yes, it was a critical phase in his position, but it's also been a critical phase in ours. We now have 60 Singaporean shareholders. We have $8 million that has come from the wholesale investor ecosystem being developed in Asia. Conversation, a critical conversation. You know those one in a hundred took place at the High Commissioners in Singapore with an Australian national living in Singapore who said to me, what do you need? I said, oh, about one and a half million. He said, would it be all right if I gave it to you on Thursday? I didn't believe him. My board didn't believe him. Yet lo and behold, on Thursday, 1.5 million landed in our bank. I didn't know which conversation was going to be real. I didn't know that a guy who walks up to me with a drink in his hand and says, what do you want, was actually going to do it. But he did. And that activated the program that we're now going to hear about. So, yes, that ecosystem that Steve is growing is a critical component to the wealth of not only ourselves, but to all of us as a nation. So I can only say, whoopee, <laughs> for Wholesale Investor. It's been a critical basis for the further development of our country, and in particular, our companies. OK, now let's start on this one. This is an old slide. It's been around for quite some time. It depicts the world as seen through the eyes of a pipeline engineer. There are about 3.5 million kilometers of pipe out there, more than a foot in diameter, with 350 million joints in them. They fail at the joints all the time. And there's not much you can do about it. Listen carefully to this, because at the end of it, I'm not only going to kick the pipe, but I'm going to ask questions on the pipe. So listen carefully. So what's our position now? The global market's about 120 billion a year. That's onshore. It's about double that offshore. The immediately addressable market, the Chevrons, the Shells, the Exxons, the Saudi Aramcos, the governments that we're talking to at the moment, that's about 11 billion a year. Those are the ones we're talking to right now. I can't get 11 billion a year in my head. So think about it as one Learjet every day. And that's only 10% of the global market. Our first US market at the moment that we've just signed all the agreements on is 16,000 miles. It's happening right now. It's in the shale gas market. It's about three to four billion a year. Their US production company, which has been established and is now finalizing all the agreements as a 50-50 on the US market, eh, it's quite a few billion a year. Our US prod codes invested 10 million at 40 cents a share with a loan of $2 million. Put this into context. In the Australian context, we've raised about 15 million over three years. They took three days. They were four times oversubscribed. 
and that's 10% of our global market. This offer's only open until all the contracts are done, the money's in the bank, which is a few weeks from now. We're building the equipment to deliver it to the US and it will be operational in June. Demonstration testings for the US four majors, which have already offered 2,000 miles of pipe for delivery, starts in August and we full finish in um, September, October for production this year. This is the first of our global IP technology and business model rollouts. Put that into context. It's about 10% of global market. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is these things. You make them in a blast furnace, you roll them out in a, in a um, rolling mill, you weld them together in a, in a welding plant, and then you transport them a few thousand miles to site. Heavy, lots of air, they're bulky, they're really difficult to store, they rust, they corrode, and they fail and explode without warning. So they're really hard. They require teams of people to do. We've been doing it this way for about 5,000 years since the pharaohs. Not much change. Everybody said, okay, let's switch to polyethylene, the black stuff. No, nope, that's even slower. My expertise and background is in aerospace. We've owned two of Australia's largest aerospace groups, and we have watched the air transportation industry go from metals to composites. Our solution is seamless, continuous composite pipe made in the field without joints. It's so different, we call it the fluid highway. So we're going to be just like Boeing, but we now control that industry. So how do we do this? Fran was talking about immediate delivery. We print 3D pipe in our factory. We take it out into our backyard, blow it up, add resin, there's our pipe. Or we take it out in the field, blow it up. So we turn this into this in the field. Now I can't break it, you can drive your bulldozers over the top of it, it's incredibly uh, strong and stiff and tough materials. We're so much stronger than the other materials, it's not funny, we can make it in all sizes and shapes, right up to those sort of sizes, or let's say 10 feet. We're lighter, stronger, tougher, cheaper, intelligent. This pipe thinks. We're also the lowest CO2 emissions globally. We can do all of the normal things for pipelines, plus raw CO2 and hydrogen which are the key technologies coming up. Our federal government, including the Prime Minister, reviewed the paper that was presented by the chief scientist. The key technology, the enabler that's going to create the hydrogen revolution is the ability to transport the stuff. Our pipe doesn't leak hydrogen. I love the chief scientist, except he called this the, first, the world's first potato chip bag pipe. Yeah, because it doesn't leak. What's it mean? Well, if you look over in those sections there, it means we're hundreds of times better in some areas. We're globally unique. Our patent attorneys are sitting out there as well. We've got multiple patents. I think about 100 patents in 50 or 60 countries. We're operational now. We can do this globally. So what is the world asking for? Next month is a meeting with the Indonesian government on 100,000 kilometres of pipeline, public-private partnership, Japan for hydrogen, Korea for hydrogen, Central and Eastern Europe for gas, the UK government on oil and gas, think long pipes, fluid transportation globally changing, land and sea. But what are we focused on today? This is what we're focused on today. The US will be moving, our focus is going to be US shortly, within the next three to six weeks, we'll be signing the agreements. 16,000 miles first market, 25,000 miles a year second market. What's our task? To join the dots. There's a million of those. We've got to join each of those dots they're each wells. We've got to take the water out and the oil and gas out. That's from 33,000 feet. This is from 18,000 feet. This is what we're going to be doing. Can we do it? Yes. So why the big advantage? Why are we the key technology? This is a normal pipe that they're using now, polyethylene. I haven't bought the real one because it's too heavy to transport. What's the difference? Well, much more space inside. So 40% more volume for 30% less cost. Presented it to 60 of our customers, 50 of them have said yes, they want it. Largest customers have already asked for four test loops of 10 miles, but we do not sell pipes, we sell technology. So we hold the global IP within our technology company and our prodcos actually do the work. So we bring in the intellectual property, they bring in the capital, the contracts, the workforce, we form a joint venture, and we then go and do the job 
The joint ventures are all self-funding, so we're globally unique, protected by patent, but we're also uniquely global, which enables us to grow very quickly on a global basis. So why are we so successful? Patents applied for, technology proven, operational, business model proven. We're ready with the production qualification, production start 2020. Fran was talking about 3D printing on site, with 3D printing on site. We revolutionise the way pipes are both created and installed, little to no inventory. The end result, we're worth an awful lot of money. So why invest now? We've spent 20 million so far. Our Prodco has completed its raise, one of the world's top technologies covered by patents, recognised by the federal government and world governments, and also most of the major energy companies as the top technology in the field. Our immediate market at the moment, just for the first phase, is about a billion a year. We're going to grow to about 11 billion a year very shortly. We're highly profitable at 40 to 70 percent margin, and we don't actually do it. Our prodcos do. So we don't take the risk. What are we worth? Now 48 million. This offer will close when those US contracts are completed, which is in the next few weeks. Indonesia Prodco meeting next month. Deliver the equipment. Demonstration 2,000 miles is waiting at the moment. We're, we're opportunity cost at the moment about 60 million a month. We're listing on an appropriate exchange. That's NASDAQ or the ASX as a stepping stone. The future belongs to those who invest in it first. But my question to you today is, this is what we have today. This is black. Who wants black? It's very conservative. Everybody uses it. Who wants black? Anybody up for black? You want black. Here's white. We're going to change the world. Who wants to change the world? Anybody voting? <laughs> I love the two hands in the front. You didn't think about changing the world in pipes. Well, it's going to change the world. Thank you.